Hey everybody, and welcome to the, the best channel. The chopping of propellers echoing across the sky, heavy machine gun fire, and missiles zooming towards their targets. Let's talk about attack helicopters today. These birds play a crucial role on the battlefield, as they are equally capable of destroying enemy personnel in columns of heavy equipment. We're also going to take a look at the ultra-new Sikorsky Raider X attack helicopter, a machine that has captured the entire world's attention. It's a fascinating innovation, but we'll talk about this miracle of technology towards the end of the video, so make sure you stick around till the end. But of course, it's going to get interesting long before we get there, so make yourself comfortable, because the best is yet to come. Lift off! The GoUZ-10 is a Chinese attack helicopter built by Chang Aircraft Industries Corporation. In development since the mid-1990s, the WZ-10 was introduced to the People's Liberation Army in December 2010. The helicopter was designed out of the need of a dedicated anti-armor attack helicopter. China had only the WZ-9 as an interim attack helicopter that was in fact an armed utility helicopter. And after many efforts to acquire foreign attack helicopters, failed to come to fruition. The Bell A1Z Viper is a twin-engine attack helicopter based on the AV-1W Super Cobra that was developed for the United States Marine Corps. The Bell A1Z is multi-mission attack helicopter. The powerful A1Z delivers state-of-the-art dynamics, weapons, and avionics to incorporate the latest in survivability. With anti-armor capability, it engages and defeats the broadest array of threats at standoff ranges that defy imagination. The A1Z completed sea trial flight testing in May 2005. On 15 October 2005, the USMC, through the Naval Air Systems Command, accepted delivery of the first A1Z production helicopter to enter the fleet. The A1Z and UV-1 Lig completed their developmental testing in early 2006. Eurocopter Tiger The Tiger hat is highly agile, benefiting from a 13-meter, four-bladed hangless main rotor. It is likewise powerful, thanks to two enhanced MDR-390 turboshaft engines. Avionics incorporated on the Tiger hat are the EUROGR-80 battlefield management and digital map display systems, integrated radio and satellite communications and data transfer links, an IFF transponder slash interrogator, and a high-authority 4-axis digital automatic flight control system. The gyro-stabilized roof-mounted site has a TV camera, thermal imager, laser rangefinder, laser designator, and a laser spot tracker capable of simultaneously following up to four targets. The AH-64D Apache Longbow The AH-64 Apache can be considered the most famous attack helicopter in history. It was designed to operate on the front line and to perform anti-tank, anti-helicopter, assault, and close support missions in all weather conditions and in any operating environments. The AH-64D Longbow is the upgraded version with an increased offensive capability and the adoption of advanced target acquisition systems. The Longbow is characterized by the n apg 78 radar, housed in the radome located above the main rotor. It raised position enables target detection and use of missiles as the anti-tank hellfire, while the helicopter is hidden behind hills, trees, or buildings and out of enemy sight. The main armament is the 30mm M230 chain gun installed under the cabin. The AH-64D is able to load, in its four pylons on the stub wings, a significant variety of offensive weapons as rockets and missiles.